local school board member apologizing tonight for notes that he scribbled during a heated forum. What he and the rest of the school board's learning tonight are those notes are subject to open record laws. They were written as College Station parents were voicing their frustrations with the rezoning of the district's high schools. News 3's Whitney Miller has more from the boardroom. Well, these handwritten notes were personal and never meant to be published. That's according to Place 3 board member Michael Wesson. But some parents in the district say it's a great example of bias from a school board member. The two page document sent to KBTX came from an open records request a parent filed with the district after the April 19th vote. District spokesperson Chuck Glenwinkle confirmed to me Tuesday that the documents were real and from public hearings. Wesson's notes include line after line of parents' names and notes about what each of them were saying as they spoke to the board. But of concern are some of the statements he made about those parents. In one instance, he adds the phrase, suck it. Others he calls a crazy lady and a hypocrite. And it's those disparaging remarks that have parents in the district claiming bias and vendettas. I spoke with Dr. Wesson this afternoon and he was very upfront about what he wrote and says it was mostly out of frustration. In a statement, he explained, quote, out of dozens of speakers, I made a couple of snide comments and the rest were completely factual. It is frustrating to me when people speak multiple times and change their arguments from one time to the next simply in order to get their way or benefit themselves. The comments referred to speakers who spoke about rezoning and not grandfathering. As a board member, I have to make decisions that are in the best interest of all 13,000 students within CSISD. If what I wrote offends anyone, I apologize. As a board member, I highly value input from the public and would never want to do anything to damage that. Now, those I've spoke with during the process have talked about how frustrating redistricting has been for the board members as well. They say some have been harassed and even threatened, but for parents, some say it was a rushed process and they don't feel like their voices have been heard. In College Station, Whitney Miller, News 3. You can read Dr. Wesson's full statement online at kbtx.com. By the way, we also asked for the notes taken by all school board members. We reviewed those notes. However, they did appear to be fairly standard.